when it comes to cooldowns doing anything of importance cooldowns you are not What's up guys? So in this video, we're going to talk about are cooldowns important? I get asked this question a lot. People ask me, should I cool down? Should I do anything after my workout before just going home? And generally speaking, my answer is no. Cooldowns are primarily a myth. They have very, very little benefit, and in some cases, they might actually have some drawbacks. So in this video, we're going to look at the actual science and actual meta-analysis of the data. So the first claim is that it helps a workout later in the day. So if you have a workout in the morning, then you cool down, you can perform better in an evening or afternoon workout. This was determined to be a lie. Uh, it's not actually true, and in a lot of cases, it actually hurts performance. Another claim is that it helps next day performance. This was also determined to be a lie. It has either very, very little effect, either negative or positive. Generally speaking, it is gonna be a waste of your time to cool down. It doesn't really have any impact either way. The next claim is that it helps remove lactic acid from the blood or from the muscle. It does help remove it from the blood, but it doesn't actually matter. Because your body does this automatically, you know, within 20 minutes, all the lactic acid is gone. If it is not gone, you have some kind of metabolic disease and you need to get that checked out immediately. Cooldowns aren't really that important for removing lactic acid. It doesn't do anything for the muscle and it has a small effect on the blood, but it doesn't actually matter because this doesn't impact recovery. Your body removes this automatically, whether you're sitting on your ass or you are running or jogging or doing anything, it removes it automatically. What about reducing muscle soreness? This is one of the biggest claims that I hear all the time, and there's actually very, very little evidence for this. In fact, if you're doing something like running, doing more running is probably not gonna help delayed onset muscle soreness or DOMS. In fact, it could make it worse because you are simply adding more work after you did the primary workout. Most studies find very, very little to no effect, so don't think that you're gonna be getting any kind of benefit from cooling down. What about muscle damage? No, okay? If you just damage a muscle, doing more work is not going to undamage the muscle. That doesn't make any sense. However, some markers of muscle damage might be reduced from an active cooldown. So something like uh, creatine kinase activity, that type of thing, it could be reduced. But this doesn't actually mean that you're reducing the muscle damage. You're just reducing these markers of muscle damage. Does this have any kind of benefit? I would say probably not. What about neuromuscular function? It had a slight positive effect in some studies, but most studies found a non-significant effect. So it might help your central nervous system recover slightly faster, but that's generally not a concern anyway. Your peripheral nervous system might be a little bit more important and it might have a slight effect on that as well, but it is not gonna be anything amazing. So don't think just because you're cooling down, you're helping your body to recover more than it otherwise would. What about stiffness and range of motion? Wink, wink. Most studies found no effect. There's about 10 studies linked here and none of them really found anything significant. So don't think that you're going to reduce stiffness or soreness or range of motion impairment just because you were doing some kind of cool down. It doesn't really have any kind of effect. When it comes to glycogen resynthesis or getting more glycogen back in the muscles after the workout, some people, I've heard this, it's like, it doesn't make any sense. Again, doing more work after the main work isn't really going to help your recovery. It's not going to help get more glycogen into the muscle. It's not going to like pull glycogen into the muscle at all. It's actually just going to use more. The fuck was that? I'll edit that out. Anyway, so it, it doesn't really help you resynthesize glycogen. In fact, most studies found a small negative effect, which is what you would expect considering what you are actually doing. In terms of the immune system, which is often slightly depressed after an intense workout, this did have a slight effect, but a few hours afterwards, there was no effect. So it might have a slight effect for 30 minutes or an hour, but ultimately it won't have a very large effect. Similarly, it also had a slight effect on how fast your heart rate recovers after exercise. Immediately after a workout, your heart rate is going to be elevated, especially after cardio, and a cooldown might help this heart rate to go lower faster, to return to baseline. However, 
this isn't really that important. It doesn't really matter if your heart rate is slightly elevated after a workout. It doesn't really have any kind of negative effect. Also, in terms of hormone concentration, so cortisol, adrenaline, etc., it doesn't actually help them return to baseline. It actually delays this effect. Again, this isn't going to really have a big effect either way, so don't think that cooling down actually helps your hormones. It doesn't have much of an effect. In terms of sleep, there was no effect or very little effect, but in terms of mood and self-perception, there was a slight positive effect. People found that they could relax better and this helped them to uh, cool down their mind as much as their body. So if you enjoy a cool down, there's nothing really wrong with cooling down. In terms of reducing injury, which I think is very, very important, cool downs do almost nothing. Uh, most studies found that there was absolutely no effect. Uh, there was one study that found that a 15 minute cool down showed a lower injury rate than a five or a 10 minute cool down, but there was no control group. So there was no group that wasn't doing any cool down at all. In terms of long-term adaptive response, actually changing your body, the researchers found that there was no real effect, but they also said that more research was needed, which isn't surprising considering they are researchers. Ultimately, it's your decision. If you like cooling down, there's no real harm in doing so, but don't think that there's some kind of magical benefit either. Doing a cool down or not doing a cool down, it doesn't really matter. You can just finish your workout and go home. There's really no downsides to just doing that. All right, let me know what other myths you want me to bust. There are hundreds of them and I'm happy to do so. I think making these kinds of videos is important to actually get real science out there instead of pseudoscience or bro science like a lot of big channels do. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, notifications on, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.